Hi and welcome, I'm Joy and this is my channel Yoga with Joy. Today we're focusing on the heart chakra, that's anahata, that which is unstruck is the name of the heart chakra. So it is our, our amazing center that bridges the lower chakras and the higher chakras. And so this is our, yeah, the bridge. So feeling everything feels below Anahata, feels quite human. Um, and yeah, feeling like we're meeting needs. Um, and yeah, maybe a bit of ego in there. <laughs> and then above Anahata is yeah, feeling quite, coming a bit more towards the spiritual or the, d the divine. And Anahata is our place where we can really embrace all our fellow humans and share our love and compassion. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so this practice, you may, you may um, wish to use a block when we're do, coming up into bridge, or you, um, yeah, there's not many other places, but if you know you like a block, then please bring one. Um, also, I like to sit on a blanket or, or a cushion, so anything like that for sitting, but how, whatever you like to do, really. So, yeah, of course you need a mat. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Begin seated, so make yourself comfortable. And closing your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. And then bring your hands to the heart into Padma Mudra, the Lotus Mudra. So your the bottom of your hands are together. And you make, it's like you're making a cup with your hands. Your fingers are spread apart. Your little fingers and your thumbs are touching. And taking this time, centering here, focusing on Anahata, the heart chakra, our place of love and compassion, generosity, open heartedness, giving, giving to others, supporting others. Universal love. Love for all beings on this planet. Unconditional love. Altruism, compassion. The name of this Center Anahata means unstruck, that which cannot be broken, can never be broken. The element is air. So imagine this, this free, free and spontaneous love with no attachments. Focusing now on someone you love, someone is very close to you, a good friend or family member. And just taking a moment to acknowledge your love and appreciation for them.
We'll start the practice by chanting yam, the sound of anahata, this heart chakra place. Yam, three times. Yam. 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 Gently opening your eyes and releasing anything you've been sitting on and coming down to start lying on your back. And we'll begin. By gently rocking the pelvis. The hands can be done by the side. Exhaling up the pelvis, inhaling down. So the knees are hip width apart and the feet are hip width apart. And you might wish to put a block or a soft ball in between your knees for this part. And then we'll exhale up into Setu Bandhasana, the bridge. So lifting up your hips and opening up your heart area and reaching your arms out with the palms open. So breathing here. So if you need the block between your knees, please come down and place it there. So deep breaths into the heart place. If you notice your feet are grabbing onto the mat, just lift them up and gently place them down again. And slowly moving the body back down, placing one vertebra at a time onto the mat and drawing the knees into the chest, having a little rock from side to side. And then moving over onto your side so that your hands are closed, your, your arms are stretched out. So it's a bit like you're closed, uh, closing a book here. You can actually put a blanket or something underneath your, or cushion underneath your head. Exhaling and then inhale, open, keep your knees together, opening up the chest. So opening up this heart area. Exhale, closed. Feeling the air, love and compassion, moving with the air as the arm moves. It's a lovely twist for opening up the upper back because the heart chakra is, of course, it's an energy center. So your upper back is also the place of your heart chakra. It doesn't just come up. Forwards. <laughs> Exhaling, inhaling open. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale open and then bring yourself on your back. Opening up the arms and we'll come into Setu Bandhasana again. Breath in, exhale, curl up the spine. Bring yourself up, up onto your, so your feet are supporting you and up onto your shoulders. Lifting up your toes, placing them gently down. Opening up this heart area, stretching out the arms. Deep Ujjayi breath here. And then exhale, 
down. And with the open arms, you can close your arms over to the side so that your knees are now closed as well. Opening up, inhale, exhale, closed. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, closed. One more time, inhale. Opening up the heart. Exhale, closing. Lovely. And then gently bringing yourself up from here. Bringing yourself up to seated. Bring the hands into Padma Mudra, the lotus at the heart. Again, closing your eyes. Feeling your love and compassion building up. And this time focus for a moment on Anyone in your life you find a bit more difficult, a bit more challenging. Maybe something that's been troubling, troubling you. Really give that person or that experience some love. Try and understand what they're going through. And even if you can't, just wrap them in your love as a gesture. Even if you can't understand what's going on, unconditional love. It doesn't mean you love what everyone or somebody does, but you're loving them for being human being a pure soul muddling through on this planet. And then gently opening up your eyes and inhaling forward, opening up the heart, exhaling back, opening up your back, upper back. Inhale forward, exhale back. The seated cat's a lovely way of warming up the spine. Inhaling forward and then bring yourself back. So your heart is resting of your hips. Your head is resting of your heart. And then bringing your hands to your shoulders and your upper arms are parallel with the mat. Breathing in. And then exhale to the side. You can exhale through your mouth if you wish, or through your nose. In through the nose, out through the mouth or the nose. Try both. Quite different. Really warming up, waking up this area upper body, heart and shoulder blades, chest, and 
and then start to reduce the movement and bringing the hands down to the knees, bring the hands to the heart, exhale, inhale, open, out through the nose, bow forward, inhale, open, so you're like your bellows, like our fire breath, but much kind of slower. And less from the belly, but you're still bringing in the belly. And there's a closing at the heart. Opening at the heart. Gently closing and bring yourself back up to centre. Hmm. And then opening up your legs, stretching out your legs, flexing your feet. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward. Heart down towards the earth. Inhale, up. Exhale. Stretch out the inside of your legs. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Bring yourself up and exhale. Inhaling. Deep breaths, lovely. And folding forward. And gently bring yourself back up. Lovely, good. And coming on to all fours and to cats. So your hands are below your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. <sighs> Lifting your heart back up towards the ceiling so the Shoulder blades area. Inhale, the heart open. Exhale, really allowing it to go towards the sky. Inhale, opening forward. Exhale. then bring yourself back to centre. That's lovely. Opening up the knees and then touching your toes together and coming back into extended child with the hands forward. Lifting up onto the fingertips. Stretching out your arms. Stretching up the upper back. And releasing the hands down, lifting up your right arm and threading it through. So you're coming to thread the needle, the child version, child pose version. So the hands is near the face, fingers towards the face, and then lifting up the arm and then bring it behind if you wish. So you're finding a place for the arm, maybe at your thigh, or your sacrum. Lifting up the arm and bring the hand back down. Bring yourself back up and the other side. So lifting up the left and threading through. Hand by the face, the fingers pointing towards your face. 
palm at the right angle. Lifting up towards the ceiling and then placing the hand somewhere, so in your thigh or your sacrum. Lifting up your arm, hand down, and bringing yourself up, bringing the knees back together so, so that they're hip width coming up into upward cat. And then exhale, downward dog. So really breathing in the full dog posture. So you can always come into half dog first if you want with the bent knees or walk out your dog. Lowering one knee and heel down at a time. Otherwise just come straight back into downward dog. Lowering the knees down and then the chest and the chin down so that your hips are in the air. And your eight point posture, Ashtangasana. So the eight points are your hands, your feet, your knees, your chest, and your chin. And then coming forward so that your hands are by your shoulders and your elbows are in at your side. Exhaling, and then inhale up. So either a low cobra like this, up into a high cobra, opening up the chest. And spreading the love from your chest out in front of you. And then exhale down, take a breath in. And then exhale back into Downward facing dog. And then lower the knees down, opening up the knees again, touching the toes and coming down into Anahatasana. So you bring the heart down onto the mat. Melting heart pose. Anahata, the heart chakra. This is the special posture for this chakra. So your chin might be on the mat, might be your head. And your chest may or may not be actually on the mat. And then gently walking your hands back towards you. And so they're shoulder width apart. Your knees are hip width apart and then turning round your toes and coming back into downward dog. You might need to move your hands forward again. And then gently walk the feet towards the hands with your bent legs and just hang here. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold forward again. Taking a breath and then clasping the hands behind you and then allowing the hands to fall over your head. So it might feel like they're kind of coming over their head and they may or may not be. Um, it just depends how flexible your shoulders are. The palms of your hands will probably be separated now. Your fingers still together. Bring the hands back down to the sacrum and then gently rolling the rest of your body up until you're coming up into standing into mountain Tadasana. And so here in mountain, opening your hands up into Padma Mudra again, the Lotus Mudra. Taking a moment to focus on universal love. So this is love for the whole planet, for all beings on this planet, the whole universe, feeling connection with everyone and everything. So a heart connection, 
deep compassion and love. And this will include any people you find extremely difficult, any actions and people you find extremely difficult, things that feel horrific and then things that feel amazing. So it's all, it's all accepted. Our love is given to everyone, everything, every being. Spreading this love will create more love. Really checking in with yourself and spreading this universal love. And then gently closing the hands and bringing the hands down to the side. Great. Okay, so we're going to come into Utkatasana twist. So it's easier with your feet together with this one. So if you bring your toes together and then your heels are slightly apart, bring the hands at the heart center. Take a breath in and then exhale, bend the knees and then over to the side. So your right knee will be a little bit further forward than your left knee. So you're coming over to your left side. So you're encouraging your hands to move round to the heart centre. Of course, they probably won't be near it. Mine are nowhere near it. But it just depends on your body. So deep breaths here. And then exhale, bringing yourself back round and up. Be careful of your lower back. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold forward. And then over to the other side. So I'm over to the right side. Your left knee will be slightly in front, encouraging your chest to move round towards your hands that are in prayer posture. And then gently move yourself back round and be careful as you come up. Wonderful, that's lovely. And then bringing your hands into reverse prayer. So we've got the hands here. And we're going to um, step the left foot back so that your heel to heel alignment. Inhale, opening up the chest and then exhale, gently folding forward and taking a look at your big toe. So you've got your hands in prayer posture at your anahata place on your back, heart chakra place. Now, if you can't do reverse prayer, I forgot to say this, you can just hold your elbows, that's fine. And gently bring yourself back up. That's lovely. Release the hands and then widen your stance. Now your heel to arch alignment and just clip in. So the back foot is only in 15 degrees now. So it's like your warriors, or well, this is Trikonasana. So a little bit closer together. Inhale, opening up the arms, bend the knee slightly to begin with, and then exhale, find a place on your leg. So you bend, now you straighten the knee. And so this is a heart opening posture. So you really opening up the heart, stretching, and then the arms are going down towards the earth and up towards the sky. Deep breaths, feeling the love from the heart, reaching down to the earth, up to the sky. And then gently feeling yourself coming up. 
Perfect. That's wonderful. And hands to heart. And facing the front again. And then bringing your right leg back. So heel to heel alignment. And then bring your hands into reverse prayer. Like so. Or of course you can do the hold the elbows instead and that's fine. Sorry I didn't say that before soon enough. Inhale. Lift up and then exhale. Fold forward looking at your big toe. Deep breaths. Really tucking in your tummy. Feeling the love coming from the your heart chakra at the back. And then gently bring yourself back up. That's great. And then we're going to step back into Trikonasana. So it's heel to arch alignment now. And your foot is just a little bit in. The, um, we're going to come to Trikonasana. So the leg is straight, but you just bend it to begin with. Opening the arms up and then straightening the leg as you find your place. So your palms are open and the heart, you're feeling the energy moving from the heart up to the sky with your right arm down to the earth with your left arm. Deep breaths. Love for the earth and the sky. And gently feeling yourself moving back up. That's fantastic. Bring the hands to the heart and then stepping forward. The feet hip width apart. And opening the arms like wings. Hands at the heart again and then down into Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, stepping back into downward dog. Take a breath in and then exhale, lowering yourself down into seated. And coming here into Back into the seated posture. Bring the hands to the heart, lotus mudra. Focusing again on love and compassion. Your heart space. You may feel bursting with love. <laughs> <laughs> might feel quite romantic <laughs> and we'll close together with our mantra yum to complete the practice yum Yum. Yum. Oh, now then, releasing the hands down, opening your eyes, of your heart. bring the hands into prayer. Namaste. Make it ready to be the Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you for this lovely practice. I feel all loved up now. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then please do. And of course, you can like this video. 
and comment on this video and let me know how it was for you. So, yeah, lots of love to you all. Display.